A shared folder is a folder that can be shared with an individual Keeper user or to a Keeper team. To create a new shared folder, click on Create New and then select Shared Folder. You can then select a parent folder or select My Vault to add the folder at the root level. To provision a shared folder to an individual user, select the folder from within the vault and click Edit. From the user screen, enter the user's email address or select them from the drop-down of previously shared users, then assign the user permissions. To provision a shared folder to a team, select the folder from within the vault and click Edit. From the user screen, select a team and then assign the team level permissions. There are two permissions available from the shared folder screen when adding users and teams. The first is Can Manage Records. When this permission is enabled, the user is able to add and remove records from the shared folder. This does not automatically give them permission to edit the records, which have their own individual permissions and must be configured by the record owner. The permissions of records added to the folder, like Can Edit or Can Edit and Share, are set based on the default folder settings of the shared folder. When the Can Manage Users permission is enabled, the user is able to add and remove other users and teams from the shared folder. When creating a shared folder, we recommend setting the default folder settings to ensure that records added to the folder by team members will inherit the desired permissions. By default, the permissions are set to least privileged access. Select Default Folder Settings to configure the following four permissions options. Can Manage Users allows users or teams added to the shared folder to add and remove other users and teams from the folder. Can Manage Records allows users or teams added to the shared folder to add and remove records from the folder. Can Edit Record allows users or teams added to the shared folder to edit the record contents. Can Share Record allows users or teams added to the shared folder to share the individual records in a different shared folder or with another individual. Both personal and shared folders can be nested and contain an unlimited number of records or subfolders. Each subfolder inherits the same permission structure as the parent folder. If the parent folder is a shared folder and you move a personal folder into it, the personal folder will now inherit the permissions set from the shared folder, including the users that have permissions to view and edit that folder and its records.